Uh-huh. I know who I got. Who you got? I got Crawford, man. And I wanted to ask Earl Spence, like, if he was here. I, I saved this question, man. Mm-hmm. You remember his car flipped? Yeah. I want to ask him, was he was he running from Mo3? For Mo? <laughs> oh, yo, hold on. What does this have to do with the fight, though, Murder? <laughs> Errol Spence addresses YouTubers, rappers, and bloggers hating on him, saying that the reason he crashed his car back in 2018 is because he was running from deceased rapper Mo3. We're going to talk about it in this video. Oh, yeah, we're going to break it down. But before we do that, make sure that you hit my like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not already a sub to the channel. Y'all don't want to miss this one. So they say heavy is the head that wears the crown. And with the fight that we got coming up on July the 29th between Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford, the whole world is engaged. You know, boxing fans, fans that's not really into boxing, everybody is engaged in this fight. Now, it ain't no secret, in 2018, Errol Spence almost lost his life. He crashed his Ferrari going about 80, 90 miles per hour. He flew out the roof of it, and I don't know how he survived. We all know that story. But it was been rumors running around for a long time that the reason that Errol Spence crashed that night is because he was running from rapper Mo3, right? Now, if y'all don't know, Errol Spence, he hangs out with Yellow Beezy, another rapper, Trap Boy Freddy. They are rappers. Now, the deceased rapper Mo3, rest in peace to Mo3, you know, um, he had beef with Trap Boy Freddy and Yellow Beezy. Now, we all know that Yellow Beezy and Errol Spence, they close, they tight. You know, that's one of Errol Spence's closest friends. And he also cool with Trap Boy Freddy also. Now, for y'all that don't know who Yellow Beezy and Trap Boy Freddy is, they both famous rappers out the Dallas area, you know, Oak Cliff to be exact. For a while, we were seeing Errol Spence around Yellow Beezy all the time. Everywhere you saw Yellow Beezy, you saw Errol Spence and vice versa. Now, you don't really see that too much more. And I believe I know why we don't see that no more. You know what I'm talking about? But it ain't like they ain't partners no more. But, you know, sometimes you just got to back back and look at, you know, the situation and look at the people you hanging around with. Now, let me try to give y'all a little backstory on why they trying to put Errol Spence in the middle of this. Errol Spence, he was hanging out with Trap Boy Freddy and Yellow Beezy a lot. And Yellow Beezy and Trap Boy Freddy, they had an ongoing beef in the city with rapper Mo3. Mo3 is now deceased. Now, if y'all remember, if y'all know about it, you can go look it up. Yellow Beezy was a target of a hit and run. His car got shot up on the side of a road, you know, on the interstate when he was leaving the club one night. Now, Yellow Beezy, he was lucky to have his life. His whole G-Wagon was sprayed with bullets, but he was able to come up out of it with only a gunshot wound to the arm. So he was in the hospital for a little bit and he got out and it wasn't nothing life threatening. Now, shortly after all that happened, Mo3 came out with a rap song called 219. And in that rap song, he says, I hit up that rapper, then hit up they sprinter. And all you see was yellow tape, you know, and he was referencing the name yellow. So people was asking him about it. And when people was asking him about it, of course, he was denying it. But, you know, he can't, he had a little grin. But if you listen to the lyrics, you know that he's talking about Yellow Beezy. You know, it is what it is. That's some street stuff. You know what I'm talking about? And everybody knew that. People started putting Errol Spence in it because, of course, Errol Spence was hanging around Yellow Beezy. Errol Spence was hanging around Trap Boy Freddy. And Yellow Beezy and Trap Boy Freddy, beef got real deadly with Mo3. And when Mo3 was chased down the interstate and gunned down back in 2020, People were saying that Trap Boy Freddy had everything to do with it. People were saying that Yellow Beezy and Trap Boy Freddy had put a hit out on Mo3. They beef was real. It wasn't no rap stuff. It was some real street beef, you know, that stemmed from years back. You know, of course, they was all cool before they was beefing, but that's how most beef be. You know, you cool and then y'all fall out and sometimes it go there like that, especially in the streets. I just wanted to give those a backstory on, you know, why things were so deadly. 
And especially with Errol Spence hanging around Yellow Beezy and Trap Boy Freddy like that when they was in an ongoing deadly beef. And so, as we all know, eventually, Mo3, he got murdered, like I just said. And rest in peace once again to Mo3, because I believe that Mo3 was one of the most talented rappers ever since probably Zero. You know, Zero, my favorite rapper, and Mo3 was the closest thing to Zero to me. You know what I'm talking about? Mo3, uh, man, he, he was talented on so many levels. You know what I'm talking about? It ain't going to be nobody else come like Mo3 in a long, long time. So rest in peace to Mo3. Now, where Errol Spence comes in, or where they claim Errol Spence come in, right? Yellow Beezy got in a fight with Rainwater. Rainwater is Mo3's manager, or was Mo3's manager because Mo3 is no longer with us, right? And in that fight, it's on YouTube. Y'all could go see it. And Errol Spence is there. They all leave in the strip club. And I guess Rainwater gets caught outside by Yellow Beezy. And they jump Rainwater. That's what he said. He said that they jumped him. Now, if you watch the video, Errol Spence is there. But you don't see Errol Spence nowhere near the fight. Errol Spence ain't throwing no blows. But people start coming out with rumors saying that Errol Spence, you know, he hit Mo3's manager. They saying that Errol Spence was in several street altercations to where Errol Spence laid a couple cats out, you know, in the streets. And they like, man, this dude is a fighter. He a boxer. He can't be putting hands on real street gangsters. Now, these is the rumors, right? So people trying to say with all of that that went down, Errol Spence basically, he put himself in between the beef with Mo3 and Yellow Beezy and Trap Boy Freddy. Once again, for those who are listening, Yellow Beezy and Trap Boy Freddy, they tight, but they had an ongoing beef with Mo3. And Mo3 was known in the streets for being a real live hitter. Like Mo3 was really known in them Dallas streets for, you know what I'm saying, he'll get rid of you if he need to. And a lot of dudes was afraid of Mo3, you know what I'm saying, because he had that reputation. With all of that that happened, they saying that Mo3 had beef with Errol Spence because he was kicking it with them and he put himself in between what they had going on. So they saying now a lot of these YouTube dudes is claiming that that night when Errol Spence got in that car accident, he was running from Mo3, right? Mo3 was chasing him to gun him down, and he was running from Mo3. Now, we all know that Errol Spence had a pistol on him because the detectives, they found the pistol in the middle of the road, and of course he's supposed to have a pistol on him. You know what I'm saying? I don't advise no superstar like that to ride around and be going to clubs with no pistol on him. Real talk. You know what I'm saying? So that's what the rumors is that Errol Spence was running for Mo3 and he ended up wrecking doing so. Now, Errol Spence, he has answered these rumors. You know, he's come out and he's responded to these rumors. But before we even get to what Errol Spence said, I want to let y'all hear what Mace had to say. Yeah, P. Diddy Mace. He wanted to give his two cents on it. And I'm going to play y'all the audio right now. I know who I got. Who you got? I got Crawford, man. And I wanted to ask Earl Spence, like, if he was here, I, I saved this question, man. You remember his car flip? Yeah. I want to ask him, was he was he running for Mo3? For Mo? <laughs> oh, yeah, hold on. What does this have to do with the fight, though, Murder? Like, is mental? Like, what, what, what you talking about? I, I like asking the questions <laughs> people want to know, man. Hold on, just, I, just so I understand. Time out, time out, time out. I'm a little confused on this. Why would, what does him flipping the car have to do with Mo3? God bless the dead. I just, I just. No, I don't know the story. That's what I'm asking you. So what happened? So you can, for me and the viewers that don't understand why you ask this question. Just rumor has it that, right. you know, that him and Mo3 was into something. I just okay. want to know, was he trying to get away from Mo3? Is that why the car flipped? So, because I'm, I'm naive and some of the viewers maybe, mm -hmm. what you're saying is that Mo3 and Errol Spence had some beef? Yeah, street Alice, beef. Street beef. Street okay. Beef. So street you're beef. saying that when Errol Spence was driving, 
that he was running from Mo three. God bless the dead. That's what you're saying. Yeah, I'm not laughing. I'm no, not I, laughing. I'm not, it's like, not oh, laughing. God bless the dead. I'm it's not laughing. Not laughing. Me. But that's. I'm just trying to make sure I understand. Yeah, what you're, yeah. I'm, I'm, that's what I'm saying. I didn't know that. That's why I'm asking yeah, you to be so, clear. Yeah, Did you hear true. about this stat? No. Okay, so that's the. But no, See, people. People want to know the truth. No, that's I, what I'm no, here for. I'm, I'm. That's why I'm asking. I'm acting yeah. like I'm a three year old because I want to be clear on what you're saying. You're saying that the time that Errol Spence called Flip. He may be trying to get away from 03. 03. That would have been a great question. Maybe when we interview him, he'll have yeah. that que- answer that question. People be thinking we're trolling. Those are the real good questions. That's, that's a great question. Yeah. I just didn't, didn't see. I didn't know that, and that's why I was trying to elaborate on what you told me. People would definitely know that because mm-hmm. you, know, you know who's interested in that? The people who know that, like yourself. Yeah, because when people are hitting my line, they're like, well, why didn't you ask this question? Absolutely why didn't right. you ask that question? So if you don't ask the question and they think we're being scared, we're not ducking no smoke. Absolutely. You're 100% right. It I just didn't it know. Is. I was just asking because you're damn right it is what it is. I wanted to make sure mm-hmm. I was clear and I got your back now. I just yeah. wanted to make sure yeah. I know the information before we ask. So I didn't even know that. That would have been a great question. Like when a car flips, the car that goes by, it looked like a car I seen in Mo3 in. Shout out to Killer Cam, Killer, Killer Cam, Cameron, and Mace, you know, P. Diddy Mace, Murder Mace, whatever you want to call him. Him and Cameron, man, they got a hell of a um, sports show on YouTube. It's called Come and Talk to Me, like the Jodeci song, Come and Talk to Me. You know what I'm talking about? For everybody that know who Jodeci is and for everybody that know that song. That's what they show is called Come and Talk to Me. And I like it, man. They got a hell of a uh, sports show and they talk about everything, all sports topics. So y'all heard what Mace had to say about the Errol Spence and Mo3 situation. And he also said that they supposed to have Errol Spence on there. They was already supposed to have him on there, but something happened. It fell through, but they still going to have Errol Spence on the show. So I'm going to be looking forward to when that comes out you know but this is what Errol Spence had to say to all of these rumors I'm gonna put it up so y'all can see it so Errol Spence kept it plain and simple that's some dumb shit y'all running around here you know with all these rumors and y'all don't even know what y'all talking about y'all just making up stuff you know what I'm saying he laughing at it because he like man that shit retarded it's dumb so, I'm going to keep it short and simple. If Errol Spence say it didn't go down like that, well, it didn't go down like that. Because I ain't never called Errol Spence in no lie. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I want to hear what y'all think. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. But don't forget to hit the like button. Y'all already know how I do. Dago talking that boxing again. And I'm gone, y'all.